When I was a kid, one day I woke up in the morning and I was walking to school. It was the day of my science test, so I couldn't be late. I got to school, sat on my chair, and I was waiting for the dragon to give me the test. Uh, hold on, a dragon? Oh man, I was still in my house and had to go to school all over again. That's why I always say, don't leave the house without a reality check. So I ran to school to not get late for my test, but I was still too late and that's how I got my first a uh, I was quite concerned because I had barely passed my first test, which means I had to get an A in the final test or I would fail the science class. And when I get emotional, my other self shows up. He collected some of my tears and he said he wanted to show me something, but I had to be awake while asleep. And I got super excited about it because that's very unusual from him. So I tried to take a quick nap after noon to get a lucid dream, but it didn't work. In fact, it took me a couple days for the excitement to wear off until I could finally lucid dream again. In my dream, my other self showed up and asked me to follow him. He took me to a place that I knew it was his home, although I couldn't remember how I knew that. It was a cottage in the snow, which looks normal to me now that I live in Canada. But at that time, I was living in Brazil and hadn't seen snow before. In the cottage, I saw a fireplace and a dog nearby. My other self then showed me a book and something he was calling a feather. The book had two names written in the cover my name and some other name I couldn't recall. It's hard to remember details from dreams, but it was the feather that caught my attention. My other self told me it could be used to write real life missions. He said that once the mission was written in that book, the universe would ban itself for me to complete it. Pretty much like a dungeon master would ban the RPG reality just to keep the adventure going. Maybe my life was a game after all. So I told him I wanted to use the feather to write me a new mission, a mission to not fail science. Maybe the universe would bend and I'll magically get an A. So he gave me the feather and said that the ink had to be some fluid from my body. So that's why he collected my tears. As soon as I started writing, some new creature showed up. It was a golden dragon. He said, Ah, finally I found where you hid the book and my feather. You thief. None of the two belong to you. I told him the book had my name in the cover though. How is that not mine? I don't care about the book. But I'm taking the feather with me. OS tried to argue, saying the feather was given to him as a gift by someone else. But the dragon was like, I didn't gift it to you. It does not belong to you, human. Before I could react, he took the feather and disappeared. OS was angry, so I asked him, Did you steal that book? But he also disappeared. I forgot his question phobic. Back to my normal life, I was still quite concerned about my final test because I needed to get an A, so I started to study. One night I was too bored, so I went to sleep earlier. I had another lucid dream and my other self showed up again. He said, I'm gonna retrieve the feather, do you wanna come with me? I said, let's do it. So he entered inside me. Suddenly, for the first time ever, we became one. It was a weird experience being fused with him. I felt I was different. My emotions were different. It was hard to separate my ideas from his ideas. I knew he was angry because he lost the feather and I was feeling that same anger. Then I noticed I had some new memories. I saw someone giving the golden feather to me. Then I saw myself later taking that book from my library. OS noticed and I knew he was trying to block his memories from me. He did pull the plug except for some small details that he would let slide sometimes. Jeez, I was just a kid. But now that I was one with OS, I was feeling more conscious and more intelligent. I knew there was still a link between me and the feather that was gifted to us, so I could teleport myself to its location. And guess who was nearby? He said again, The feather does not belong to you. So I had to try another strategy. I woke up and I was no longer fused with my other self. I can't believe we lost that fight so fast. Hold on, OS? I didn't know if OS was still there with the dragon. Four days passed and still no sign of him. That was bad. What if he was dead? Once he told me he cannot die, but I was still pretty sure something had happened to him. And I was too stressed out to lucid dream to go look for him. So I had to find help. I told Mia Vó that my other self was missing, but she was like, Oh, your imaginary friend is gone. Don't worry, go outside and make some real friends. 
Luckily, OS showed up a couple of days later. He was looking weak and exhausted. He said the dragon did not let him leave, but he managed to sneak out and he had the feather. My final test was in the next day, which means I still had time to use the feather to write me a mission, but I was still awake, so I told OS to write the mission for me. He told me we should write it together. So he suggested that I used a piece of paper and he would do the conversion for me. OS got closer to me and we wrote it together, a mission to pass the science class. I was a lot more confident to the test then because I knew I'd get an A. So I took the test in the next morning and a B. Oh no, it didn't work. Then I looked at the feather and everything made sense to me. This one was looking more like a golden stick instead of a real feather, like the one from my dreams. So the dragon had replaced the feathers. The dragon had left a fake feather as a bait for OS. That's why he got out so easily. The real feather was still with the dragon and none of us had the courage to go back there. So I told OS to throw the fake feather away because it was useless to us. Back to my normal life, when my final grade came, to my surprise it didn't have an F as I thought it would have. Instead, I had a C-. minus. So I asked the teacher about it. She said that since I missed one test and was not a bad student, she decided to give more weight to my final test. Woohoo! And that's how I learned that you don't need magic feathers to be lucky. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. In my next video I talk about the day a dog spoke to me. Click there to watch my first video if you haven't done so. And don't forget to comment and like. Thanks, bye!